Today on the channel, Mitch Mason, a microbrand we reached out to. Usually, microbrands reach out to us, and usually, it's a no, simply because we know what our audience likes, and definitely, this is something you're gonna like, because I like it. It's definitely something about this brand, and I'm gonna try to figure it out. So let's begin, right now. <laughs> Introducing the Mitch Mason Maelstrom in beautiful green. And what is a Maelstrom? Basically a whirlpool in the ocean. Yes, that's right. This is a dive watch and it's a stunner. I'm a big fan of Mitch Mason design language. And don't worry guys, the name Mitch Mason is not a real person. The owner and founder, his name is Benedict. I definitely resonate with the Mitch Mason style. I feel their symmetry and the way they fuse modernity and vintage somehow works so well and I'm just, I just love it. So when I said I reached out to Mitch Mason, I wanted to see The Chronicle, their first watch. I believe it came out last year and I really wanted to see that. That watch speaks to me. They wanted to show off their new watch so they said just take this one and I'm glad they did because this thing is beautiful. We got a super compressor style case, late 50s all the way to the 70s. This is not a true super compressor. It is modern through and through. The case has a smoothness to it. It reminds me kind of like a Stingray, the old Stingrays that just have beautiful curves. Look down the side, that nice high polished chamfer. I can't really judge because this is a prototype, the brushing and polishing. So far it seems pretty good, but I'm gonna get a production model to keep as a gift to the channel. And I don't know, I think I'm gonna pick the gray one. Which is your favorite? I got the green because I'm gonna do a short video on the gray or blue, whichever one I choose, maybe the black. And I didn't wanna do the same video twice. And the green is definitely beautiful, emerald green. But uh, I think the other colors speak to me more. Now, Sapphire Crystal Double Dome with Super AR. When I get a Double Dome watch in the studio, it's usually a nightmare to film and it reflects like crazy. This one, I don't know what the Super AR is, but it's doing amazingly. So good job there. Dual screw down crowns. On the top, it controls that bezel. You got a nice pop, but there's no positions, it just turns bi-directional okay so very nice there you push in and screw it down i don't feel any resistance or clicking while turning that inner rotating bezel now the bottom typical screw down crown with solid pop manual wind hack it is the myota 9015 this movement you can say is on par with the eta 2824, standard 2824. So don't look down on the Miyota. The only negative of the Miyota is the rotor wobble because it's a unidirectional. And I wore this all day yesterday and I didn't feel it. So this case is well dampened. So don't worry about it. These are the measurements that I got from nine to three, exactly 40.0. Thickness of 12.7 with that double dome sapphire. All right, Mitch Mason says 12, so I am very off. I'm going to double check live. All right, let's double check. There we go. I'm getting 12.7. I don't know where the 12 is. Maybe it's just the case. And that double dome is sticking out. It is a subtle dome, though. It wears pretty slim on the wrist. And a lug to lug of 47.1. All right, excellent wearable size. I think 40 mil is perfect. Everyone's gonna love it. Small wrist, 5.7 all the way to eight. This is gonna wear great. I love the dimensions of this watch. Now the bracelet, it's a beautiful H-link bracelet and we do have drilled lugs for easy strap changes, but you don't need those drilled lugs because this one has quick release spring bars built into the bracelet. 316L steel, completely milled, uses screws, and I love this clasp. It's fully milled, even the top part, with six micro adjusts, 
but it's ultra thin. It is thinner than the strap code 16 mil on my new Alpinist uh, Super J. So well done here. And there you can see that beautiful case back. Let me take off, let's see how easy it is to take off these spring bars. With gloves. See how easy it is to take off this bracelet? Wow, there we go. There it is, a humpback whale with a nice intricate design of the water. It looks like it's diving into that maelstrom. Beautiful, nicely done. And I felt it without gloves. It is very smooth. I wore this all day yesterday. The bracelet also articulates nicely, lays flat, and has beautiful deep chamfers all along the side of the bracelet. Makes it very soft and comfortable on the wrist. The bracelet is very well done. Now the dial and hands. We have a beautiful sunray finish sandwich dial. So the loom is underneath. And we also have cardinal markers at 12, 3, 9, and 6. Those are going to be color matched better on the production model. And the hour hand is going to be trimmed down a bit. I love the Mitch Mason handset. That signature hour hand is a cathedral style hand. Reminds me of a vanilla swirl cone. It's like they brought the cathedral style hands and gave it a little bit of a modern twist. Now Mitch Mason does symmetry like no other. He fuses vintage with the fresh modern look. I think the design is a win. This is gonna be a huge success. Now the price, 449 super early bird October 1st Kickstarter. It's going to go up to $599, $150 more later. And you know what, guys? I think the watch is worth it. It's such a well done package. And I don't look down on the 9015. Pound for pound, I think it trades blows and even is slightly superior to the standard grade ETA 2824. Okay? If we're talking higher grades, the cost chronometer grade ETA 2824s, then I would choose that over this. And we also have unique, beautiful design, high quality bracelet. It's a treat to wear. Let's check it out on my wrist. Okay guys, here it is on my wrist. First impression, it might look a little bit big, but the secret measurement, I got 38.6, the edge of that bezel, because the bezel is on the inside of that crystal, gives that appearance of a larger look. It does wear perfectly. So give it a little bit of time. It's just a stunner. And look at that bracelet, how it catches the light. Really impressed. There it is sitting on the wrist. It's so comfortable. Well done, Mitch Mason. Here's a quick comparison next to the SKX. And as you can see, 42 versus 40. There you go. Thickness, of course, SKX thicker by about a mil, 13.5 versus 12.7. And when we see the side profile, we can see how thick the case back is on the SKX. And that's where it gets most of its thickness. The lug to lug is shorter on the SKX by one mil, hardly noticeable. Here it is on the time grapher. You can hear that Myota high beat or medium beat 28.8 VPH. Strong amplitude at 272, plus three, plus five, and no beat error. What a movement, so clean. We are used to a lot of NH35 movements here and 4R, so we're not used to these nice clean lines. Plus three, let's do 12 down. Okay, we're gonna check out the positional variance, how it will react on your wrist. Now we got plus eight, Amplitude did drop a little bit, 265, and the beat air is zero still. So we got plus three dial up, and a little bit fast here, plus eight, plus eight, plus nine, and the fourth and final round, plus nine. All right, pretty good. Okay, there is the loom shot, very legible, even with those faux patinaed, but very lightly creamy indices, not overdone. Now it's gonna get stronger on the production unit, so don't think this is the final loom. I think they're gonna make the 12, three and nine sandwich dial much stronger. Here it is in low light legibility, fantastic dark dial contrasting against the creamy 
indices and hands. Now the biggest negative of this watch is the date window. It is tiny, hard to read. Now it's going to be loomed in the production model. So that's a nice touch, but it is a little bit difficult for me to read. Other than that, the watch is so well done. Beautiful bracelet, beautiful case back, sapphire crystal. The dial has a unique style. The movement is solid. It's a, it's a nice package. You don't want to miss this one, definitely. And uh, I think, guys, you've got to get in on that early bird. 449 is amazing. I still think 599, it's gonna, people are gonna pay that for this watch. It just wears so well. It's a beautiful watch to own. And sometimes you gotta pay a little bit more for nicer things. This brand, I'm a fan of it. Okay, guys? I'm not sure if it's obvious, but I'm a fan of this brand. Their style, it just speaks to me. And I really like it. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.